This is the guide you have all been asking for, my complete guide to what is color transfer, and how do you prevent it, and how do you get rid of it. This guide is what I wish I knew before starting my designer handbag collection. Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. I'm sharing everything I've learned over 16 years of collecting designer bags and collecting other handbags even longer than that, where I've made some pretty bad mistakes with color transfer because I started my collection before people really talked about this. I want to make a complete and total guide to every Everything you need to know to help you understand what color transfer is, prevent it, treat it if it happens, and even how to test your clothes to see if they're going to color transfer or not. If you do find this video helpful in the end, please do share it because my goal here is to help save as many of you from the mistakes that I've made myself because one of the most devastating things you can do is buy your first designer bag, be so excited, wear it out with the wrong item of clothing, get color transfer on your first use, and then maybe it can't even come off depending on how severe it is. I know that feeling firsthand. Please do help me share this video to as many handbag lovers as possible. And let's get into my complete guide about color transfer. What is color transfer and where does it come from? It's a very common misconception that certain bags are more susceptible to color transfer because of the color or the type of leather. So I want to clearly define what color transfer is and where it comes from. Color transfer is when the dye from your clothing rubs off onto your bag. It can even happen to your shoes. So some of the common ways you can get color transfer are by wearing a bag with an item of clothing where the dye is like, it, maybe it's an over dyed fabric, maybe it's a very dark fabric with a very light color bag. And when you wear that bag and it brushes against your clothes like this as you're walking or however you're holding it like here and it's swinging around and there's friction between the bag and the item of clothing, that is when the dye rubs off onto your bag and causes color transfer. Even if you have a darker color bag like this where the back is like a navy kind of dark blue color, this can still get color transfer. Even your black bags can get color transfer, but you just don't see it. So if I wore this with a, say a dark black denim, and it was one that dye comes off of, you could even get black color transfer on this and it could cause like a mark. It might not be as noticeable as if, say this was a white bag, but it can still even happen to your darker color bags. Color transfer can also be a tricky thing to talk about because not all black clothing cause color transfer. Not even all dark denim cause color transfer. It can depend on the quality of fabric or even how much dye is used in that fabric and how well the fabric has taken on the dye or not if it can cause color transfer. Most people know to be weary of dark color clothing causing color transfer, but you also want to be weary of highly saturated colors causing color transfer, like your neon fabrics and your super bold fabrics too. You can even have like a dark pink item like this that's very bold that can cause color transfer if a lot of dye has used and that dye leaks from the fabric. So then how do you prevent color transfer? I'm gonna give you all my tips, and this has come from trial and error, ruining bags. Like, I have ruined a Chanel bag because I was unaware of color transfer. Color transfer is best prevented rather than fixed. Depending on the type of leather or fabric that your bag is, you might actually not be able to get the color transfer out. There are certain fabrics where it just doesn't happen or maybe you didn't get to the color transfer in time and that dye has just really set in the bag and it's not possible to remove. I know some of you have darker, more neutral wardrobes and you want to wear more colorful bags and there are ways you can do it and still prevent color transfer. I know I have some ladies who wear abayas but also would like to wear lighter color bags so I will have some tips in here for you as well. The first tip that I would give you is to think about your wardrobe and what colors you mainly wear and really consider, is this bag that you want going to be something that you have to baby or not, depending on is it gonna possibly get color transfer from the clothing that you typically wear. You wear mostly black clothing, and you're saying, hmm, I wanna get a crossbody style bag. It probably would be advantageous for you to go for a black crossbody bag in that case. 
And which leads me to my next tip though, if you do want to add color and you wear mainly black clothing, look for top handle styles. Consider the style of the bag because with the top handle you can hold it in your hand slightly away from your body as you're walking so you don't have that friction of the fabric rubbing on the back of your bag. Of course some people want to be carefree and just wear the crossbody with their black clothes. If that's you, get a black bag. The third tip is if you're going for a top handle bag, say you realize I wear mostly dark colors and this is the top handle I wanna wear with all my black outfits. If you have long sleeves, be careful of the color transfer underneath the handle. What I would recommend to you is if that's how you're gonna carry your bag and you wanna prevent color transfer on the handle, get a very cheap Twilly. I will link some from Etsy below. Wrap it and consider it written off. You're gonna ruin this Twilly with color transfer and that's fine. Think of it like your insurance policy for your bag. I wouldn't go for like an expensive Louis Vuitton or Hermes Twilly in this case. The fourth tip that I can recommend is consider adding a light color cardigan to your wardrobe if you wanna wear like a colorful crossbody bag and the rest of your wardrobe is mainly dark colors. Hides a barrier between maybe your denim or whatever dark outfit that you're wearing so that you can wear your bag freely, not worry about color transfer, and you don't have to change your entire wardrobe. You just need to add one more piece to it. And for my ladies with a bias, if it's possible for you, for some of you it's possible and some of you it's not because depending on how you wear your bias, if you can wear a lighter color like one of those open abayas over the top of your more traditional abaya, that lighter color abaya can provide the barrier between your bag and your like black abaya. The fifth tip I have kind of undoes a common tip that I give when um, taking care of your bag. And that is like if you're at a restaurant and there's nowhere to put your bag, let's say there's not an extra chair and there's no room on the table, I often tell you in that very rare case, put the bag in your lap and put the napkin over the bag. You're maybe carrying your top handle bag but you've got dark denim on, avoid this tip. Carrying a bag hook can really make sure that you don't have to set your bag anywhere near your denim. Sixth tip is another little thing that can really change the game and it is a chain shortener. Let's say you wear dark denim all the time but you wanna get a light classic flap like this. A chain shortener that you can put on the inside can help you turn this into a shorter shoulder bag. When you wear it, it's only touching your t-shirt and not your denim. This next tip I actually have not heard anyone talk about, and that is that you need to be careful about the color transfer that can happen inside of your bag. Now this bag isn't too dark on the inside, but the key here is it's the lining inside leather. If the lining is leather inside and you put a leather SLG in there, say your lining is that dark burgundy leather and you put maybe a light pink wallet in there, the friction of everyday use can eventually cause color transfer, especially if it gets hot and your wallet kind of sticks to the inside. To prevent this, if you have a leather lining to your bag, I highly recommend a thin bag insert. This bag really doesn't need an insert to hold the shape of the bag, but I get the thinnest possible one from Samorga. Light color fabric against leather is much less likely to cause color transfer than a leather lining sticking to another leather. And just say if you have a burgundy lined bag or a dark lined leather bag, I would say get a lighter color insert. My next tip is on the clothing side of things, and that is to wash every new item of clothing before you you wear it. A lot of the times, especially if you're going for cheaper fast fashion brands, the way that the clothes are dyed can run color for the first few washes. Sometimes it's not forever. My next tip is the easiest way to prevent color transfer and that is to wear lighter color clothing than the color of your bag. A lot of people don't want to hear this tip because they want to wear, you know, a light pink or a light beige or a light color bag with their black outfit and think it's just gonna be fine because it's an expensive designer bag. That's just not how it works. Number 11 is don't forget about your shoes. I recently wore a white pair of sneakers. I wore these and it didn't even occur to me that this fabric might transfer onto my white sneakers. And it did. Especially if a bold fabric like this or a really dark denim gets wet, it can easily cause color transfer. Number 12 is to carry a bag wipe with you. I will have some linked below in case something happens or you know maybe you're following the tips and being careful 
and then you set your bag somewhere or it just you know accidentally brushes against your trousers and you get a bit of color transfer the faster you can get to it the more likely it's going to be that you can clean it off a tiny little thin insurance policy that can fit in almost any bag that i highly recommend the next tip is for all of my fabric bag lovers they're a lot harder to clean off actually than leather they typically will require a dry cleaner to help you get the color transfer out if it can be done. Think about like when you wash your clothes together. If you wash whites and reds together and that color leaks onto your white clothes, nearly impossible to get it back to white. Same thing with a fabric bag. Once that dye really rubs into it and you get a good amount of color transfer, it's going to be very, very difficult to get it out of your bag. Just as you would separate your laundry, think about what you're wearing when you're wearing a fabric bag. Next tip is to stick to light to medium wash denim. The lighter the denim, typically the less dye they're using to color the fabric, which means there's less chance of that dye rubbing off onto your bag. When I wear a lot of my bright colorful bags, I go for a more light wash denim so that I don't even have to think about, oh, I need to shorten the bag length or I need to watch myself with my bag. Because if you wanna wear jeans and have a casual style, you can still do that if you go for lighter colors. White denim, fabulous for colorful bags. But I know not everyone loves white denim, so as long as you stick to lighter wash denim, you're usually more okay than with dark color denim. The last tip for you is that if you think all of these things to think about are just too much, buy a black bag. That's the easiest way to not have to think about color transfer. Just know two ways about it. Like I know you come to my channel because you like the colorful recommendations and the colorful bags that I wear in style. Using and styling these types of bags and keeping them in pristine good condition comes with thought and what some people would call babying the bags. Not everyone wants to do that, but you can't have both. You can't not want to baby your bag and want to have like a light color bag. You're just going to end up in disappointment. So if that is you, please buy a black bag or possibly buy Louis Vuitton brown monogram canvas. That's pretty indestructible and you don't typically see a lot of issues with color transfer on those except for the Vachetta trim. Now I'm going to share ways that you can test your clothing to see if it would possibly color transfer. I do recommend you follow prevention tips because these are not foolproof. This doesn't mean that like your clothes can't cause color transfer if they pass all these tests. These are just some common ways that you can find the more very obvious clothes that will color transfer and help you kind of prevent that. There's some methods that you can try if you're questioning a garment. So the first way that you can test a new item of clothing is take an old light color, maybe like a cleaning towel or a towel that you know you just kind of don't care about in your house. Make sure it's clean, obviously, but take the fabric and rub that towel against the fabric that you wanna test. If color comes off on that towel, that fabric is going to transfer onto your bag. Now, if color doesn't come off and it's a dark color fabric, it doesn't necessarily mean that your fabric will not color transfer, but a highly dyed fabric, if you rub it against a light color towel, will most likely show the color transfer. So it can be a method to test more deep, dark, like dyed fabric. Another more kind of practical way to test in an everyday situation is get like one of those basic beige like tote bags. Put your bag inside of that bag with all your stuff in it so it's properly weighed down and wear that bag around for your day. Wear the outfit you're in question of, use that tote like your bag would rub against your clothes, and do a full, full day wear test. And these methods are just if you don't wanna always follow the prevention methods, but say you have like a pair of jeans or something that you wear on a weekly basis, this is a way you could test if the tote has color on it at the end of the day. Third method, and I don't know if you get these here in Dubai, but I always buy them and bring them from the US. We have something called color catchers. I'll have it linked. If you get a new garment or you're questioning a garment, wash that garment alone with a color catcher. If that color catcher comes out with any color on it, your garment is leaking color. Your garment leaks color, it can cause color transfer. So again, a disclaimer because I do not want to be blamed that if it passes these tests and then you get color transfer, better to follow the prevention methods 
rather than even testing and trying to make a garment work. So how do you remove color transfer? This is really a case-by-case -case basis, so I'm going to give you a few different scenarios that can help you with this. Keeping in mind that if it's deep set in, especially if it's a light color patent leather and it's gotten underneath the finish of the leather, there are some situations where color transfer cannot be removed and your only option will be to paint over it. That's why you see a lot of vintage bags dyed different colors or color touched up. That's why I talk so much about prevention rather than fixing. But I'm gonna give you my best tips that I have that have worked for me in the past that have removed color transfer off of bags when I've made mistakes. My first tip is for fabric bags. Now I'm meaning like canvas bags, jersey bags, like not leather fabrics. Any of those kind of fabric bags, it is best to take them to the dry cleaner. One in particular that would specialize in also cleaning handbags. They're gonna have better tools than anything you will have at home to probably remove that color transfer. And as soon as you notice it, try to get that bag to them as soon as you can. Make sure they're a very professional one. Don't send them to just any cheap place. This is the time to not skimp. Go to one with good reviews. Here in Dubai, I like Champion Cleaners, though you need to be a little bit careful because their bag restoration, they like to try to paint things to restore things, so you need to make sure they're not restoring it. They're just cleaning it. If the item is leather, there's a few products I have used in the past to get color transfer off. Now I have been sent items from this company that I'm going to show you and link below in the past before, but I was a customer first. I'm never going to give you guys a false review on a product when you're paying thousands of dollars on your designer bag. So these are actual products that I have evidence that they've worked and they've worked for me. The first is any leather bag. Keep a handbag wipe in your bag with you. This is great not just for color transfer, but for any little mark that you might get on your bag that you don't wanna let set in. Of course, if your bag is patent leather, it could work, it could not. It depends on how deep the color transfer is. Here I'll show you a TikTok of me using some of the products that I used to get color transfer off of my Marie de la Roche bag. I was wearing like kind of a long fuchsia dress, caftan kind of mix thing. And I was wearing a top handle bag so I didn't think about color transfer, but while I was out and about shopping, I popped it on my arm and while I was paying for things, it managed to get color transfer on it. I used over and over again the cleaner from the same company and I did very small layers. And I used a microfiber towel to get the color transfer off. So trying to remove color transfer, it's best to be gentle and go in several layers and the process may take you a lot of time. You don't want to scrub and wear off the actual color of your leather. So working very carefully and removing layer by layer is the best way to go and you may not see results on the first try. I think I did Oh, I'll have to look back and see how many layers I did, but I think I did at least 10 to 15 times to get this color transfer completely off. Another thing you want to do is after you've used any leather cleaner is to use a leather conditioner after because when you've used a solution to remove and remove something, it can dry out your bag. So I like to always kind of wipe very lightly damp towel just to kind of remove the product on the surface layer and then I go in with either Leather Honey or the Leather Conditioner of the same brand. I'll have both of them linked below. Oh, and I forgot to say, make sure between each layer of cleaning that you let the product dry. For my shoes, I have been able to remove color transfer in the past with these Jason Mark sneaker wipes. They're technically like a sneaker cleaner, but depending on how set in your color transfer is, this solution also works. I discovered the handbag wipes. I used to recommend these sneaker wipes for even your bags if you get like a light bit of color transfer, but occasionally because of the harshness of it, you have to be careful with the type of leather and dye your bag is. Because when I tested it on one bag one time, it kind of started to pick up the color of the bag. Not a one size fits all for every single bag where you can say, okay, this product is safe for every bag. You always need to follow the product instructions and test 
a little corner that's like not noticeable if there's a little part on the inside you can test something like that you always want to do that first before using any product on your handbag thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was super helpful if it was please do share it with your friends who are getting into designer bags or have questions about color transfer or have had any issues with their bags getting color transfer i really think this can help so many people have a better experience with their designer bags when they're armed with the information of everything they need to know so you can make your bag last as long as it can looking as new as possible and don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok to see how i style my bags and i'll see you guys next time bye